Charles Drew was a pioneer in developing and perfecting blood banking in the United States. His work with plasma was really important in saving lives during World War II, and the plasma that we use today is not much different than, than what he developed. Charles Drew was an African-American physician who trained in surgery. He was at Howard University in, in Washington. He moved to Columbia University and what was then called Presbyterian Hospital and got involved with Dr. John Scudder on blood preservation. The original types of transfusions were live transfusions. Sometimes the donor and the recipient were actually physically attached to each other. Obviously, that's not very practical if you want to scale that up to give many transfusions to many patients. And so this issue of, of storing blood was very important. Dr. Drew's major contribution in that setting was to be able to collect and store and deliver plasma in a high-quality way. Blood, as it circulates in the body, has two major parts, cells and fluid. The liquid portion as it's circulating is called plasma. It's 99% water. And it contains proteins and sugars and lipids and coagulation factors. I'm sorry to say that most of the truly major advances in transfusion therapy are results of wars. When World War II started for outside the United States in 1939, there was a request from Britain to New York City, to the Red Cross here, of could we assist in providing plasma to Britain as they were being bombed by the Germans. The British noticed that a number of the units that we were sending them of plasma were cloudy, um, and it wasn't clear why. Charles Drew got involved and, and he used his scientific method to evaluate the quality of the way the plasma was being collected and prepared um, and, and added quality assurance methods. It was widely acknowledged that he was the leader in the world at that time for his work with plasma. The armed forces in the United States were completely segregated at that time. And originally the decisions were made to uh, collect plasma from blacks and whites and label them separately. And he spoke out against it as one of the reasons he left New York to go back to Howard and stopped participating with the Red Cross. After he left Columbia and Presbyterian Hospital, he focused the rest of his life on trying to improve the field of medicine for African-American physicians. Unfortunately, he died young. He had vision um, and he persevered and he tried not to let obstacles stay in his way. To me, that's what makes him a hero.